hey guys let's move on to our 36th topic which is git source control so you have already come halfway of your preparation there will be another couple of videos that i would make on orchestrator and then you have your re framework okay log okay so there are a couple of more activities uh, uh, i mean couple of more areas which is left so let's focus on git source control okay it could be git or any other source control but again you need to have a good knowledge around git so what is that what kind of questions you might so there is already an example or sample example in the practice test so in the practice test you can see the commit and push what does the meaning of commit and push means okay so here to before you even answer this i would recommend two things which is a must okay one is if you do not have github integration knowledge at all or you did not had a chance to really use github i would recommend you go to my channel and then look for this playlist okay go to playlist and look for github um, tutorial on github version control okay this is the one ui part tutorial on github so this is the video that you must watch okay you must watch this all the 11 videos because you need to have a basic understanding what is github how to do how you integrate with ui path right what is commit what is uh, push commit and push what does that mean what is a remote rep repository what is a local repository so you must go through this okay because i don't want to recreate the same thing which i have already done it so this is the playlist you must visit that is the point number 1 point number 2 point number 2 i'll show you uh, look for about automation projects okay very important document about automation projects ui path docs if you type you will get this page now on this one you must go through all this okay very important page must go through all this to understand but i will highlight some of the important ones okay um let me go down okay 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 so there are a couple of things um, that you should know context menu for project so the uh, what does that mean context menu for the project means this one okay so when you right click you see a lot of different options which will come let's say i'm right click right clicking on this file you see this is the context menu which we get okay so once your project is integrated with git or any other source control there will be a, another um, um, uh, context menu which would appear that's all it's talking about um, and and couple of them are already available for example um select to select for compare okay where is that select for compare go to project let's say i want to compare two different files okay there will be option here uh, select for compare do you see select for compare so what is the meaning of this select the current file for comparison compare with selected compare the current file with the previously selected file using compare files so what does that mean for example i want to compare okay so first you select for compare hmm? hit right click and select for compare you have done now let me choose another file let's say this is the file i want to compare this file with this so i will select the second file i'll right click then you would find something called compare with selected okay so if you click on compare with selected side by side two different workflows i can compare getting it so they are not exactly the same but again i'm telling you so these are the options you must read compare with selected select for compare okay this is actually main you should spend little time so i've highlighted a few important ones after you integrate with git okay this is important the look at the symbol the file is synced with the repository the meaning of that if there is a tick mark the file has been modified all these are important you should know plus means the file has been added you have added a new file to the project okay some xml file newly you have created so there will be a plus sign okay so what is git repository once you only once you go through this all this will make sense otherwise all this won't make sense so that's why i told you the first point is you should know if you already know then all this will make sense okay commit push pull manage branches show changes show history all this i have covered in that playlist so please do go through it commit means what commit means commits current changes to the local git repository local means you are on your machine push means pushes the current version onto the remote repository that is your git cloud okay it, it is going to push it pull means you are going to pull the data see this is all important okay don't forget all i am highlighting is very very important rebase 
pulls remote files and rebases the current branch so from the repository from the cloud from the git cloud it is going to pull it and it's going to rebase so something is wrong then it will going to update your current uh, xaml files okay pull remote files and rebases the current branch getting it show changes show history all this have covered please do watch this playlist in case you are not able to make sense if you already know very good you have already gone through my playlist so you already know from your experience then so all these things you should make a note and should understand properly or pr practically do it once again just to recall okay so this is the page very important page now let's see how many of you can answer this question uh, okay it got uh, closed so uh, commit and commit means what commit means you are committing saving it in your local repository uh, push means you are saving it in the uh, git repository so uh, if you know the definitions any question comes you will be able to answer all right guys so thank you so much for watching it please do complete the preparation on git very important and then you know you can say completed or simply comment you know learning git uh, in this video so that i know you are really doing it okay otherwise because portion of your questions also will be around this and you should be able to answer you can't uh, miss it right you must go through it so thank you guys for watching let's move on to our next topic